Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 1.1. So we're going back to the beginning of the book now. I know we started on chapter 3, but here we go. Lesson 1.1. Here's your objective. I will be able to find the GCF and the LCM. GCF stands for Greatest Common Factor. Numbers that can go into a number. All right, Factors of 10 would be 1, 2, 5, and 10. The greatest common factor would be when you have two numbers and they have a common factor, all right, let's say the greatest common factor of 10 and 20, common factors of 10, 1, 2, 5, and 10, common factors of 20, 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20, so 10 would have been the greatest common factor between them. All right, we'll get more into that later on. And multiples, least common multiple, what is a multiple when you Multiples of numbers are basically skip counting starting by that number. We'll get into all of that right away. Here we go. So you might want to take some notes today. All right? It won't hurt. It'll definitely help you. Please take notes on this one because kids get confused all the time between what is a factor and what is a multiple. All right? So a factor, write this down in your notebook. Any number that can be divided into another number evenly. So factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. I could do 12 divided by 6 and get 2. All right, it goes in evenly. 7 is not a factor of 12 because I can't um, do 12 divided by 7 without getting a decimal or a fraction. All right, what are factors of 6? 1, 2, 3, and 6. They can all go into the number 6 evenly. Factors of 21, 1, 3, 7, and 21. So looking at these numbers right here, if we're talking about greatest common factor, the G, C, F, which one is the greatest common factor that they have? I see this one has a 6, this one has a 6, oh, that one doesn't, so we've got to go a little lower. This one's the only one of the 4, how about the 3's? I see a 3, 3, and 3. That's my greatest common factor of those three numbers. Okay, factors. And any number that can be divided into another number evenly. Multiples, like I said earlier, when you skip count by your given number. So let's find multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72. Multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know how to count by 10s. And you should know how to count by 4s as well. So if I had to find the least common multiple of these three numbers, of I need to find the L, C, M of 8, 10, and 4. Which one's the least common? Well, this one has an 8, that one doesn't. I know if I go 4, 8, 12, 4, 8, 8 is not going to 10. 12 is not, is not a multiple of 10, sorry. 16 is not. 20, that would be my best guess because I know every number that, when I skip down by 10, ends in a 0. There I go. And does 8... 8, 16, 24, so no, it's not 20. Got to keep going up. I have to go all the way up to 40. And I have a 40 here and a 40 here, the least common multiple. It's not the greatest common multiple because the greatest common multiple would be infinity. It's the least common multiple, and there it is. All right, so you can make these lists to find least common multiple and greatest common factor, but later on, when it gets more complicated, you might want to do something else, and I'll show you when we get there. All right, let's do a couple of examples. Let's find the GCF of 12 and 66. So we, we're we going to list all the factors of 12. 1, and I know 1 times 12 equals 12, and I know 2 times 6 will equal 12, and I know 3 times 4 will equal 12. So those are all my factors of 12. 66. Now this is the greatest common factor. So what I, I could list all of these out right here, but I just got to see, can 12 go into 66? All right, if I count by 12s, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72. So that is not a factor of 66. 6 definitely can go into 66, all right, because I know 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 11 is 66, so 6 will be my greatest common factor. My G, C, F will equal 6. 
All right, I didn't even have to list all the factors of 66. I could. I could definitely do 1 and 66, 2 and 33, but then it starts getting a little bit more complicated. Um, 3 times 22, all right? But I'm just going to stick with finding my smallest numbers, my smallest number, which was 12 factors first, and seeing which ones can go into 66. Yes, 1 can go into 66, so can 2, so can 3, but 6 can also go into it, and it's my greatest number. Okay, so it might make sense to you to find the factors of your smallest numbers first and see what the largest one that can go into your other number. Let's find the GCF of 30 and 18. 30 and 18. I'm just going to do the factors of 18 first. 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and then I have 3 times 6. Those are all of my factors. All right, so if I'm going to find a common factor, I know 18 can't go into 30. Oh, that's, there's no common there. I know 9 can't go into 30, but I know 6 can. I know 6 is a factor of 30. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So 6 will be my GCF. I could list these all out. 1 and 30, 2 and 15. 3 and 10, um, 5 and 6, and I can see that 6 and 6, that is my greatest common factor. All right, but it's very easy, for me at least, to find the smaller number factors first and pick the largest one that can go into the other number. All right, least common multiple of 2 and 3. Let's do our multiples. 2, 4, 6, Eight. Let's stop about there. I can go on and on and on, but I know I'm going to have a common multiple soon. Three, six. Up. Oh, I found my common multiple. It's six and six. So my least common multiple is six. All right. I can keep going and get nine, twelve, and then this would be ten, twelve. Now these are also common multiples, but notice LCM stands for the least common multiple. And 6 is my least common multiple. All right, but what happens when you have three numbers? I can list all the uh, multiples of these out, 4, 8, 12, like I did earlier on, 5, 10, 15, 20, 10, 20. But I'm going to show you something called prime factorization. You don't need to actually know this to get by in this chapter, but it will help you out, and it's something good to know when numbers get harder and more complicated. All right? It might even be easier just to list these ones out, but I have to show you, do my job, and show you prime factorization. That's why this video is going to be a little bit longer than the other ones. All right, so prime factorization. Let's find the factors of these numbers. 4 can be broken into 2 times 2. Okay, now that's it. All right? There's no other factors can be broken down, so I'm going to circle those. 5, prime factorization can be 5 and 1. That's it. Those are the factors. Now, it's called prime factorization because I break it down until I have only prime numbers left. I'm circling my prime numbers. All right, 10 would be 5 and 2. All right, so this one was kind of easy, actually, because they all can be broken down to prime numbers right away. So I'm going to list my factors here, 4, 5, and 10. Okay. So my 4, can you see? Okay, maybe you can. There you go. My 4 was just 2 times 2. 5 was 5 times 1. And then 10 was 5 times 2. Okay, what I'm going to do is circle which ones have the most of the numbers. So in this one I have 2 times 2. There's no 2's there. There's no 2's there. Well, there's 1, 2. But I don't need to use that one because this one had the most. All right? I have one one there, but anything times one's itself, so I don't need to worry about that. Now this one has a five, and this one has a five, but they both only have one five, so I could just choose one of them. I'll choose the top one, okay? And that five I don't need to worry about now. So to find the least common multiple, I just have to take two times two times five. 
2 times 2 times 5, which would equal 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 equals 20. My least common multiple would be 20. That seems like a whole lot of work. When you could have just skip counted, I could have just done multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, multiples of 10, 10, 20, and I would have noticed that 20 is my least common multiple. That's a lot quicker, but I have to do my job, show you prime factorization. Because sometimes you will get larger and harder numbers like this one. All right, so now you might have to list all these numbers way out to find the least common multiple. Let's do prime factorization again. 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. Those are both prime, so I'm done. 12 can be broken down into 3 times 4. Okay, 3 is prime, but 4 is not. So I have to break it down again to 2 times 2. Okay, and 15 can be broken down into 5 times 3. I'll leave that times alone for now. Those are both prime, so we'll circle those. Okay, so I'm going to break these down again. My 9, I'm going to write it up here this time. My 9 was 3 times 3. My 12 was 3 times 2 times 2. I ignored that 4 because I did not circle it because it was not prime. I had to break it down some more. And 15 was 5 times 3. All right, so I have two 3s up here. Only one there, one there, so I'm going to use these two threes. That one's gone, that one's gone. I have two twos there, nowhere else, and I have one five there, so I have to use it. All right, so now all my numbers have been used or crossed out. So to find the least common multiple, I would have to do five times three times three times two times two. All right, doing that, two times two is four. Four times three is 12. 12 times three equals 36, and then I have 36 times 5, we could do that one out, 6 times 5 equals 30, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 equals 18, my least common multiple would be 180, okay, believe it or not, prime factorization would have been the fastest way to find least common multiple, because if not, you'd have to list 9, all the multiples of 9 up to 180, all the multiples of 12 up to 180, and all the multiples of 15 up to 180. Prime factorization would have been quicker here, but if you don't get prime factorization and it's confusing, you could have listed them all out as well. Okay, now it's your turn, and I'm gonna make you try to do prime factorization for number three, but find the GCF of three, 12, and 18, find the LCM of six and 15, and using prime factorization, if you get it wrong, that's okay. Try to find the um, LCM, sorry I didn't write that down, using prime factorization, find the LCM of 6, 12, and 15. Sorry for the long video, a lot of things to say here. Good luck, we'll see you soon.